Hi there, Simon from Old Planet Studios here. I've been a bit quiet recently, and that's because I've been involved in a really big project, and that is to design and build a motion control rig for stop motion that can be 3D printed. It's not quite finished yet, but as it's Christmas time, I thought I'd give you a sneak preview, so come and have a look. So the track itself is um, uh, belt driven and we've got 32 bearings on it. The up and down um, is controlled via a lead screw and the little uh, stepper under here as well. So that one moves like that. Motor for the track is at the far end. Okay, so this is the main head, and uh, you can see we've got a panel mechanism that goes 360 degrees. Um, we've got a tilt tilt motor mounted here, and uh, controlled via a belt, and a little focus motor mounted on the rail here. All of this being fully adjustable. And the pan motor is of course mounted in the head, which can be reversed so that it can be even higher. I've made a couple of motion control rigs before. They were very much handmade using brackets from the DIY store, all that sort of thing. So this is the product of all of the lessons that I've learned doing that. Uh, the different motors needed, the means of propulsion, the things that work. The emphasis with this one is on, very much on precision. It's only for stop motion, this is not for general filmmaking. Um, and hopefully it's quite versatile as well. The track can be as long as you want, the arm can be as long as you want. It can also, of course, be mounted on trestles to give it uh, a lot of height so that it can hang right over the set. I'll be making the files for the uh, 3D printed parts available online um, as soon as I've got it tested and ready. I don't want to release anything until I'm absolutely certain about this. But it's evolving at the moment and I've got a lot of confidence that this is going to be a really good piece of kit. Anyway, Happy Christmas!